Good evening from the nation's capital. I am Carrie Ling and this is Carrie Ling Live on the Carrie Ling Network broadcasting from the Carrie Ling Studio. Tonight's guest was scheduled to be Susie Orman from the Susie Orman Show starring Susie Orman which is carried on the Susie Orman Network. However, Susie Orman was unable to meet her commitment to be here tonight. In her place, I am proud to have as our special guest the former vice presidential candidate on the John McCain ticket. I am speaking of the oftentimes controversial former governor of Alaska, Sarah Peanhead. Well, thank you very much for that introduction, Carrie. It is my pleasure to be here. I would like to say that I would have been even happier if I had been your first choice for this broadcast as opposed to being a second banana substitute for Susie Orman of The Susie Orman Show. I realize that some individuals out there in the political world believe that I was the cause for the Republican failure during the last presidential campaign, but I am here to tell you that the real reason was that John McCain looked like he was ready for The Undertaker and nobody believed he would make it through even the first month of a presidency. Well, Sarah. I was hoping to get into the political aspect of this interview later on in the program but since you have brought up this issue, I would like to respond. You exactly correct about the reason for the Republican failure to capture the White House. Voters were concerned that the stress of the White House, all the monumental problems facing the country, the unbelievable stress that is placed on the shoulders of the president would have been too much for John McCain to bear. Since you would have been the next person to succeed McCain, in the event he became incapacitated, the majority of people with any portion of a brain still left functioning by the November election date all decided to vote Democratic. Well, Carrie, if you don't mind me saying, I think that your statement is full of Alaskan grizzly bear crap. I happen to think that I would have been extremely capable to fill in for John McCain in the event anything would have happened to him. I have a vast amount of experience in foreign affairs. I can personally add us to the fact that I was asked to sleep with the Prime Minister of England, the President of France, and the Ambassadors of Russia and Spain. You should feel free to ask them how I repeatedly refused their advances and still managed to perform my duties under pressure without cracking. Well, Sarah, may I call you Sarah? You may call me anything you would like as long as you do not call me late for a fishing trip. I just love to go fishing. Okay, great Sarah. Let's get back to the issue of foreign affairs. The office of the president is involved with the political aspects of dealing with foreign governments, not the issue of having sex with their leaders. Oh. Okay, but I still have a vast amount of knowledge about the American economy. Every weekend, Todd and I would go to Walmart and do our grocery shopping. While we were there we made a point of going up and down each and every aisle to do comparison shopping. I can't prove to you that I can stick to a budget because we always went to the Goodwill store for our clothes. Oh really? Many reports seem to contradict the Goodwill store shopping. Well, I may have misspoken about that. Let me clarify my statement. Todd did his shopping at Goodwill. I did my shopping for clothes and shoes at Saks Fifth Avenue and Nordstrom's. Well, perhaps we are beginning to see a different side of Sarah Peanhead. Let's talk for a moment about America's involvement in Afghanistan. Sure, Carrie. I am fully prepared to discuss this important issue. Where do you want to start? Shall we talk about those fancy rugs and top pastries that come from Afghanistan or should we talk about those comfy throws you put on your lap during a cold winter's night? Well, Sarah, I'm pretty sure we are not talking about Afghans that you put on your lap. However, I think your answer tells us just how little you know about this issue. You know, Carrie, you are beginning to sound a little like Katie Couric. How about another question that will be equally as impossible to answer? Now, Sarah, I am not trying to make this interview difficult for you. I just thought that anyone who would agree to run for the second most important office in the United States would be able to give me an intelligent answer instead of a line of bird droppings. Okay, Carrie. I can't see where this is going and I really do not care to proceed with this any further. It is obvious to me that you are trying to once again discredit me in my political ambitions. Well Carrie, I am not going to stand here and let you do that to me. I am just going to get on a plane and fly back to my home in Alaska. My home where on a clear day I can see Russia. I think I will get my hunting rifle and go out and kill a giant bear. Well, there you have it. 
a personal and intimate interview with Sarah Peanhead. Next week we will be having a discussion on political ethics with Representative Charlie Rangel. Good night from our nation's capital and from Carrie Ling on The Carrie Ling Show on The Carrie Ling Network.